Joe Potosky, Lost Target. For those that follow me, you know I'm an American. I live in upstate New York, and I cross the border, and I shoot clay targets in Canada. Skeet, traps, sporting clays, and all the rest. I thought I'd go over some of the rules on what it takes to bring your shotgun into Canada. First of all, you got to be 18 years of age. You're going to need a passport or enhanced driver's license. There's a couple other IDs you can use, but I'm not going to go there. You're going to need a shoot program or a flyer. Now, the regulations say your firearm needs to be unloaded when you're traveling. Restricted firearms have other rules. I've arrived at the border, and they've applied the restricted firearm rules on my shotgun. They wanted a lock gun case, and they wanted trigger locks. Little discussion, a couple times, and they let me go. Finally, I went to Walmart. I purchased a couple trigger locks. Every time I go to Canada now, trigger locks are on the firearms. It's up to you. I'm just telling you the way it is. Ammunition. You can bring 200 rounds with you for just visiting a club or hunting. 1,500 rounds if you're attending a competition. How do you prove you're attending a competition? You got the shoe program or the flyer with you. No handguns. Leave them at home. Not on your person, not hidden in your vehicle. If you're in the United States and you're traveling to Alaska, ship them to Alaska via FedEx. But do not cross the border with a handgun in your vehicle. Now, you have to report to U.S. Customs before you cross the border, and you have to fill out a Form 4457. This form only needs to be filled out one time. You can do it the day of travel. You can do it a week ahead of time. You can do it a month ahead of time. Once the form has been filled out and approved, if nothing changes on the form and it's readable, the form is good forever. If you're not close to the border, and there's a, at the airport, they have a custom station. You can give them a call and say, hey, I, got, I want to fill out a 4457. What do I have to go through? For my purposes, I'm showing you what it's like when I show up at the border. I, show, I drive up to the U.S. Customs Building. I leave my gun in the vehicle. Do not take your gun into the, into the building. I go in there. I say, I need a 4457. They hand it to me, we fill it out. Custom agent goes out to my vehicle. He verifies the serial number and signs off with the form and I'm good to go. I'm gonna to report to Canadian Customs. I'm gonna declare I have one firearm, I have two firearms. I have X amount of ammunition. They're gonna direct me over to the parking lot. Leave your firearm in the vehicle. Leave your firearm in the vehicle. Go inside the building, they're going to have you fill out a form. Now this form is a temporary fire light, firearms license and it's good for 60 days. They're going to charge you $25 Canadian. Whoever signs that form, that's who those guns belong to. If you have your spouse with you, she or he has to fill out their own form. If you have your friends with you, they all have to fill out their own individual form. Everybody has to pay their own $25 Canadian. Most crossings take credit cards. Now this form, I'll have the link, down, link below down in the description. You can download it ahead of time. You can fill it out. Do not sign it. It can only be signed in the presence of a Canadian customs agent. Now the form when you print it out is on 8 by 14 paper. So if you don't want to print it out, at least take a look at it so you kind of know what information they're going to be looking for. And like I said, once they get done there, it's just like U.S. Customs. Once you get done with the paperwork, they're going to come out to your vehicle. They're going to check out the serial number. They're going to sign off on it. And you're good to go. 
The form is good for 60 days. It authorizes you to purchase ammunition. You can cross the border several times and you, within that 60 days, and you still don't have to pay any additional dollars, just that initial $25. And that's about all there is getting your gun into Canada. Now, a little advice, top off your vehicle before you enter Canada. Gasoline can be one to two dollars more per gallon in Canada than it is in the United States. Well, hope to see you at a shoot. Jamie's being very left out. <laughs> hey, come over here. You Jamie, come over here. Jamie, go get it. Come on over here.